Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel, and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today, I'll talk about how I accumulated more than 50,000 airplane miles within two months. And for the rest of the video, I'll take you to my laptop screen. However, if you're wondering why I look like this, uh, because this is not my regular camera, I'm uh, videoing this with uh, my tiny action camera called Q+, including audio, and that's why uh, I look different than my other camera. And I'll do a separate video uh, unboxing this camera and brief review. However, uh, you're looking at the sample clip right now, uh, because this is the first time I'm recording uh, with this camera and uh, I'll see how it looks like once I'm done with this recording but for now let's go to my laptop screen and from where I'll show you how I accumulated more than 50,000 airplane miles uh, within two months and if you're new here please subscribe uh, there will be more videos coming up so I do financial travel and more videos just like the uh, one you're watching right now thank you for watching and uh, let's go back to the next part of the video hey everyone you're looking at my actual aeroplan account screen and I'm going to show you how I accumulated more than 50,000 miles for two months. So if you look on the top, uh, which is right here, then it shows that uh, my miles accumulated from February to March is 52,503 miles. So actually it's more than 50,000, but just to make things simple, I'll uh, mention that it is 50,000. So now uh, I signed up for two credit cards uh, before uh, before February. So one of them was the American Express Aeroplan Plus Gold credit card, and the other one was CIBC Aerogold Visa Infinite card. Both of these two cards has a sign up bonus of 15,000 airplane miles. Uh, CIBC had actually no spend uh, requirement to get the 15,000 miles. Once you are approved, uh, you just make a purchase anything or whatever and you'll get a 15,000 uh, bonus miles and for American Express Aeroplan Plus Gold credit card there was a, a requirement to spend I believe $1,000 uh, which was uh, you had to spend $1,000 to get the 15,000 miles so here you are looking at uh, my CIBC bonus miles which is 15,000 miles right here and then here you're looking at my Aeroplan Plus uh, it bonus which is 15,000 uh, miles right there and then uh, I had a big uh, chunk of miles coming in which is right here transfer of miles and you can see that 18,236 miles I received from one of my friends so wh what it is that uh, CIBC let you allow to transfer miles from your friends or family members but the catch is that you have to pay two cents per mile or each mile to do the transfer so basically uh, with, uh, uh, basically even if you're buying uh, transferring from your friend or family uh, you're actually is kind of buying uh, miles for two cents per mile now some of you may say that this is an expensive uh, expensive ratio uh, two cents per mile is not a good deal but i would say that this is a very good deal uh, even if you're paying two cents a mile to get a uh, mass transferred over to you from someone else uh, the reason is that uh, i'll be spending these miles to fly business class and my extraction rate is going to be here easily at five cents uh, or even more it could be seven cents or ten cents per mile based on where i go and which airlines I fly so although I'm spending two cents per mile right here but uh, it shouldn't it wouldn't bother me because my extract ratio is going to be much higher so whenever uh, buying miles or spending a little bit to get accumulate miles makes sense I do that because I just make sure that you know what uh, my return is higher than my uh, spending so that's the way you can get the most out of it now with 50,000 miles you can have a business class flight from Toronto or North America to Europe uh, depending on where you go which flight you take when you fly easily I value the flight somewhere between uh, I would say about uh, 2,000 to 5,000 dollars so basically I accumulated these miles in just two, two months and I can easily have a business class flight to Europe one way 
or I can come back from Europe to Toronto uh, business class one way. Now, if you just throw in another 25,000 miles here, so it's gonna be 75,000 miles, and then with 75,000 miles, you can fly from uh, Toronto or North America to Asia, business class, uh, which is a long flight, and having business class flight makes sense, because you're going to have your bed in the sky, and you, you're gonna have all sorts of facilities. So, on my channel, I do have business class reviews for, for the flights I have done in the past. If you haven't sus subscribed already, or if you haven't uh, looked at them already, uh, please subscribe and look at them. And on this channel, you'll find uh, informational video just like the one you're right watching right now. And I have also videos on uh, business class flights and travel videos and all sorts of different uh, kinds of videos. So thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you shortly because uh, there will be more videos coming up. Thank you.